good afternoon. Um, Grapner Ultramat 12, very nice battery charger, but, and this is familiar with quite a few of the Grapners, I've just bought myself a new one, which is an Ultramat 25. The problem with them is that the liquid crystal display is, as a rule of thumb, not illuminated and also the contrast is, is difficult on them, it's, it's not set very well at all. So I started doing a little bit of research and after a few hours of work this is what I managed to come up with. Now it might be a little bit out of focus that but basically what we have there is an LCD replacement module that has um, a backlight. It's actually a blue backlight with white writing. It's a very simple mod to do, at least on the Ultramat 25, so I've decided to have a go, sorry on the Ultramat 12, so I've decided to have a go on the Ultramat 25. Once again this is one of my uh, real-time mods, in other words this is as it is happening now. I haven't prepped this in any way other than getting a few basic tools ready. So this is as long as it takes me. Okay. Here's the Ultramat. 25. Still under warranty this, so sorry, but needs must. I can't manage with this display. Four screws. It's very, very similar um, to the Ultramat 12. The only obvious difference I can see is the fan. One of the biggest plus points for me is that the three hour timer, which was always enforced on the Ultramat 25 can be turned off for this thing so although it doesn't actually mention it it's a superb slow charger as well as a fast charger right four screws out there we go okay folks the inside as you can see there's the LCD, there's the fan which is connected to the main circuit board. I'm just going to disconnect the fan. Just the normal connector. Right, we can have a good look. Well I can see immediately there's much more in this one than there is on the Ultramat 12. However, the most important thing is that the LCD assembly is identical. This is a standard what's called a 16 by 2 LCD display and it uses I do believe it's a HD 7880 um, which is some common controller chip that nearly all liquid crystal displays use and that's this is why it's easy for Gropner to sell an upmarket charger with an illuminated display in it but it's also the reason why for about £5 off of good old Fleabay you can actually obtain one of these things yourself. This is my new LCD module. It looks almost identical but it is a little bit fatter due to the fact that it's got the bike light in it. However, the important thing is that it has the 16 pins running across the top. Now those pins are always a standard. Okay, they're always the same on a standard LCD module. Now, all we have to do is basically unsolder the pins from the original LCD, resolder the new ones in place. The only other modification we have to do the two posts that the LCD stands on we have to shorten now unfortunately in order to do that properly we have to re we have to take the complete unit to pieces to access the screws that are under there otherwise it means we're hacking off here and we're putting all sorts of stress and it's it's just not good so that's how we're going to do it so you will need a hacksaw okay but you need to take off probably three eighths of an inch 
probably no more than that. The neater you can do it, the better. You want to try and keep it as flat and as neat as you can to stop the LCD sitting at a, a kilter angle. So what I'm going to do basically now is I'm going to remove the LCD. I'm going to show you how to strip the unit down. I'm not going to show you me cutting these things off because that's just pointless. And then I'm going to show you reassembling the unit and putting it back together. So start by removal of the LCD unit and basically do that by removing the two screws in the posts. They are different screws to the case screws incidentally so it's important you don't mix them up. Okay. Simply unplug and there you go. That's the LCD module released. Okay. So all you have to do with this is solder pin 1, the wire from pin 1 to pin 1, the wire from pin 2 to pin 2, pin 3, pin 3 etc 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 and you, obviously you can just check at the back and it's obvious to see you can probably even see even with that wire in place just how similar these units are look, you can see there's the two chips on there look there's the two chips on there Okay, they all use a standard controller. Okay, and this is why they're interchangeable. So I'll unsolder the wires from there and solder them back onto exactly the same thing to there. There is one other little mod that has to be done with this, which is to supply power to the backlight. I shall come to that shortly. So off you go. I'm just going to unsolder this and solder it back onto here.